Hey guys, welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave, and today I have another sad one for you. Looks like we lost our son one last night due to another cryogenic failure. Please hit like and subscribe. It lets myself and YouTube know you're enjoying these videos. Well, apparently I have another sad one to report. Last night at a little after 10 o'clock, we lost SN1 due to a cryogenic failure. All the details of this failure aren't in yet, but more than likely, it is a weld failure. From what I can see, it looks like it ruptured in the lower portion. Less than 24 hours before this happened, I released a video that went into detail on weld failure. You can take a look at this video. I've got a link up in the upper right corner and I'll also put it in the description. It goes into detail on the inspection process and the failures that can happen to welds. Also, by the looks of it, it looks like we had another launch. Now this in itself tells me that it was pressurized. Now I'm zooming in on this to see if we can see more detail. From the quick release of pressure, it was a catastrophic failure. This means that it already had a significant amount of pressure. These weld issues are becoming quite the problem. By the looks of the frost on the outside of the vessel, it looks like it was in the process of being pressurized or was being held at a certain pressure. Normally, once a vessel is fully pressurized, they hold it for a certain length of time. This looks like the point of failure here. By the looks of all the problems they're having with these vessels, I think they're going to have to redesign them. I know it's almost a necessity to have them integrated into the hull of the ship, but they may have to design the vessels to be a separate portion, insert them into the ship separately. I can tell you this was not the news I wanted to wake up to this morning, but I do think this is another eye-opener telling us that it has to be done differently. I'll be curious to know if they're going to proceed with SN2 in the design that they've currently got. Give me your thoughts down in the comments, and SpaceX, hope you have better days ahead. Thanks, guys. This here is the mob. These are my patrons. They're some amazing people. You guys are what helps me keep this thing going week after week. I have no words to describe how happy I am you're part of the mob. Thank you so much, guys. And you too can join the mob for as little as $1 a month. Check it out in the description.